Good to see a full auditorium. Happy to be here. Lipigon is a lipid biology specialist company, and lipids, that's another word for fats. So fats, fat is our business. And um, I'm going to talk most about our clinical stage asset, Lipisense. Um, so cardiometabolic disease, and that involves type 2 diabetes, atherosclerosis, stroke, heart attack, is the number one killer in the world. It's not cancer, it's CVD. And although we reach the treatment goals, uh, we can only hinder about a third of all the cases. So uh, there's a definitely need for novel treatments in this field. Uh, triglycerides is what we are aiming at with liposuns. And here we have no uh, good options. Uh, the market is huge. Uh, dyslipidemia uh, is, uh, if you reach 2% of the treatable patients, it's a 14 billion US dollar market. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about science behind and also the development. Science is strong. NHPTL4, our target, is very well validated in human uh, genetic studies, but also in, um, uh, in uh, preclinical models of disease, uh, basically confirming what we see in, in human genetic studies. Uh, and we have the credibility to work on this target, uh, work with this target. We're still, we're alone with NHPTL4, but we have 50 years of research backing it up, uh, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure you're going to find it very interesting. Uh, development of liposense is quite uh, uh, interesting in, in several aspects, because we can target um, uh, a, a, very, uh, um, a group of patients, which enables us to reach uh, market approval with less than 1,000 patients. Um, and while doing this, we will, would prove the proof of concept and open up for larger studies uh, confirming the use of liposense in atherosclerosis and cardiovascular disease. Uh, uh, thus keeping our development costs to minimum uh, while still having the opportunity to uh, to, uh, to also go for the huge cardiovascular market. So as I said, we, we have a long experience in, cardio, uh, in the research of uh, lipid transport. Uh, the team uh, has been working along with, uh, with, uh, within Lipigon. We are experienced in both pharma, uh, pharmaceutical development and business development. Uh, since 2021, we've been listed at uh, first North, um, and we since then made the transition from being a preclinical pre stage company to a clinical stage company. We have quite a, a nice list of current and previous collaboration partners validating the, um, uh, validating the knowledge in, in Lipigon and uh, what we're doing. Uh, some recent uh, achievements is that we just struck a regional deal with Liderna, Chinese company, for the uh, area of Greater China. This is yet another external validation of Lipisense. Uh, it's the possibility to share development costs with Liderna in the future clinical development. And of course, uh, it's a cash injectment, inject, injection um, uh, as well as a possibility to have future development, development milestones. Uh, we just uh, had our U.S. first patent approved in the U.S. for the use of liposense in cardiometabolic disease. And during the last three or four months, we had a lot of prestigious presentations of ANGPTL4 and liposense. Uh, and we got a lot of attention from the scientific community on this. We're a portfolio company, so we have several programs in our portfolio. Uh, quickly about the other two, other three. So the program number two, lipid, lipodystrophy, uh, is out licensed to Comigene. So here's uh, uh, Comigene in the driver's seat here. They take all the costs and they are doing the development uh, as we speak. Uh, program three, our dyslipidemia program using 
small molecules to activate lipoprotein lipase, similar pathway uh, or this, within the same pathway as, as liposomes. Thus, the potential and the treatment is huge also here. Um, basically, it's uh, a uh, small mo molecule is, is uh, something that you could take orally as a pill. Uh, and this would, of course, be a huge benefit for if, if we would um, be able to bring this program into to market. Here we are collaborating with Hitjian, also a Chinese company, also linked to, to Liderna. And uh, our program number four is a lung damage project. Uh, ANGPTL4, our target pro protein in Liposense is also involved in lung damage. Uh, this was sort of a serendipity that we discovered um, uh, during the COVID period. Uh, but basically, uh, ANGPTL4 is, is involved in infl inflammation, uh, regardless of the cause of, of lung injury. So viral infection, bacterial infection, or even um, chemical uh, damage to, to the lung. ANGPTL4 is highly upregulated and thus if you can inhibit that, you can improve uh, recovery from uh, different lung diseases. Um, we are working with fully optimized compounds here. Uh, so basically what we need to do is to do a uh, few additional tests and then we can nominate a candidate drug uh, that then could progress into clinic and preclinical uh, pre safety. Something that we hope we could do this year, uh, oh, sorry, the, the coming year. So, uh, back to liposense. So there's a huge need for liposense. Uh, um, there are no good triglyceride-lowering drugs available. Uh, and uh, triglyceride counts for a large uh, proportion of the risk uh, for cardiovascular disease that we can't reach with current treatments. Elevated plasma triglycerides basically can be developed in, uh, can be divided into just hypertriglyceridemia, elevated levels, or severe hypertriglyceridemia. Both of them uh, are involved in atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, that's the abbreviation to the left, uh, whereas severe hypertriglyceridemia also uh, affects, uh, is a risk factor for acute pancreatitis. Um, there are no treatment options, uh, and very few patients are uh, treated with the, the, the options that, that uh, are available. And the reason is that they are not good enough. They haven't shown clinical benefit and they are uh, also linked to adverse effects that, you, that uh, makes the patient not comply with uh, the medication. Um, so for severe hypertriglyceridemia, which is our uh, first indication, uh, these are patients with over 500 milligrams uh, of triglyceride per deciliter. They have a high risk for acute pancreatitis, a very painful and uh, potentially life-threatening uh, uh, disease. Uh, here it's enough to show that you can lower triglycerides in order to reach approval. Uh, and even though uh, um, this is a small market compared to uh, the cardiovascular market, uh, it's still a, uh, a billion dollar uh, market opportunity. Uh, reaching just 5% of the treatable patients, uh, you will have a, a sales of, of um, 1 billion US dollars. Uh, and the good thing for a small company like us is that we could reach this with less than 1,000 patients in all the clinical trials. Once this has been done, we can look into uh, the second indication, which is cardiovascular risk reduction. And this is a huge market with over uh, 135 million patients in the seven major markets. Of course, you would need huge uh, phase three studies in order to prove uh, the treatment effects. But this is where um, big pharma comes in, because if we can show the proof of concept in the smaller indication, they would bite on the larger indication. Um, using human genet genetics, you can predict the effects of uh, different gene, uh, genes on uh, diseases. So for coronary artery disease and type 2 diabetes, you can see that ANGPTL4 is positioned to the left of the 
the line indicating no effect. And you can also see that the confidence interval is, is way to the left, so it's significantly linked to both coronary artery disease and type 2 diabetes. And ANG PTL3 and APOC3, these are our main competitors, and they don't have the strong genetic support that our target has. And with strong genetic support, you have four times higher probability to reach market approval. In um, animal models, we have shown that liposense improves blood lipids, weight gain, glucose handling, insulin resistance, liver triglycerides, and also that it reduces atherosclerotic plaques. Uh, all these data are published, they are presented or submitted for peer review. So these are high quality uh, uh, data that we have produced alone to, or together with um, collaboration partners. Uh, in our first one study, we've shown that liposense is safe uh, and also that we have target engagement. So already now we have a substantial de-risking of the liposense program. All multiple doses show that we had a, a lower plasma and PTL4 protein and we are now doing advanced statistics and exploratory lipid analysis on the phase one data. So we hope that we could share some, shed some light, more light on this uh, in the near future. The upcoming phase two will focus on severe hypertriglycidemia. Uh, about uh, 25 patients, it's a very cost effective study where we are re using material that we have left over from phase one. It will be performed in Sweden at three or four centers and start this winter and end within next year. So this is a major opportunity for us to create value in short time and also for us to meet uh, the requirements or the wish list of Big Pharma in a very, very uh, effective uh, uh, or uh, relevant patient cohort. Uh, some upcoming milestones, of course, we're going to uh, file to uh, Läkemedelsverket or Swedish medical authorities soon, uh, hopefully within 60 to 100 days, get the approval, the final report of phase one, uh, as I just mentioned, and then uh, start phase two during next year. And of course, there are the possibilities to have uh, milestone payments from the Derna, uh, additional cash injections, and much more within the other programs. So with that, I would like to s just conclude that we have a very good opportunity to build company value in both short and long term. <clears throat> and uh, the idea here is that we will, with this focused and very small phase two study, uh, put us in the best po possible position for a global deal uh, in the near future. Thank you so much, uh, Stefan, for the presentation. Um, what is the general interest in the lipid business among big pharma? Well, it's um, CBD is the major uh, killer in the world. And as I said, we just, with uh, current treatments, and anyway, even if we meet the, um, the treatment goals, it's just one third of all the cases that we can stop. Mm. So it's a, a huge interest. It's uh, the biggest costs for, for healthcare in Europe and in the US. So from, from all perspectives, it's a very, uh, very, very hot market. And it's been, it's been hot for a long time and it continues to be like that. Mm -hmm. Well, you mentioned some of the, um, the, the current treatments out there for cardiovascular disease. Um, how is... Um, uh, how are your products different, uh, especially in terms of reducing other cardiovascular disease markers and not only triglycerides? Well, um, we, um, we have the pos possibility to, uh, to have all these benefits or, or, or add-ons that the other products in market uh, or in development do not have. Mm. Um, most of the, the key population for the severe HTD is type 2 diabetics. Mm. Uh, they are pr probably 70% of all people with a a SHTD ha are type 2 diabetics as well. And if you then also can improve glucose handling or insulin sensitivity, that's, a, that's definitely a drug that I, as a doctor, would give to, to my patients. 
mm -hmm. there's, there's, there's nothing like that. And um, uh, we have a question here about the uh, the phase 2A timeline with uh, LippySense. Uh, phase 2 only, it's not the phase 2A. Yep. Thank you for that. Uh, and are you looking to sell the project? We are definitely looking for, for possibilities to the out license. Uh, we already did the regional deal with Viderna. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, uh, a global deal is, is uh, definitely something that we would be aiming for. Um, but it's, it's, it's up to Big Pharma to, to bite on this. But as, a, as it is right now, we are, ha we are having discussion with, uh, discussions with most of the companies that are involved in this space. So they have their eyes on us and uh, it's just waiting for, for the right data now. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for answering the questions and for your presentation, Stefan. Thank you.